you ever get stuck on a Mac doing this, where you're trying to connect to Wi-Fi and your Mac says there's no Wi-Fi available and you know that if you push restart, it'll find it again. There is another way that you can do it. If you open wireless diagnostics, right? And say, hey, something wrong with my thing. And then just get it to do the first initial search. It'll take a little while. And then once it's finished doing the test, just go, no, that's cool. And then go back to your Wi-Fi network things and say, join other network, show networks. And this usually works. That's awkward. Let's try it again. Go to wireless diagnostics. Uh, just do your normal thing, guy. See, this has worked every other term except now. I'm not sure if this thing is meant to do it every time because I normally go up to uh, the top right of my screen and click the Wi-Fi button. But as you can tell, that's not actually <laughs> included in this recording. So I didn't want to... Oh, come on. I'm trying to do something here. Okay, so... um. Let's just go to the summary and then uh, and then try it this way. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, it would have worked if I had clicked the thing on the top right. It just needs to refresh itself. So then it will give you all of your things that you can connect to. And then you can go, hey, where's the one I want? And then click on that one. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> Apologies that this uh, got a bit awkward, but I think it will still work. Don't, don't forget to click the thing in the top right here which isn't part of my recording. So that's why I didn't do it, remember? But if you do it and you click it, it should work. It should.